Today we'll show you how to take a part that you've designed in Onshape and send the data to your Universal Laser Systems Universal Control Panel so that you can cut the part out of whatever material you're working with. You'll see my Onshape workspace here. I've got a, a simple part design. Maybe it's a, you know, some sort of a, a joining plate. It's got a keyhole here and here to, to join two things together, uh, what have you. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. The first thing that we want to do is we need to take the, uh, the view here, this front view, turn that into a drawing. So what we're going to do is come down here to the plus symbol, insert new element, and create drawing. Now I was able to find a 24 by 12 template in here. That is the size of a VLS 350 or 360 DT laser, which is what we typically use in the office. So I'm going to use uh, that template here, but it really shouldn't matter too, too much uh, what you do because there's a couple things we have to do to manipulate it anyway. So go ahead and select that. Now from here I can select my part and uh, up here I want to make sure that I have the front view selected and I want the scale to be one to one. I'm just going to pop that right into the middle here. Now I'm going to press escape and I have the front view drawing of my part that I'm going to cut out on my laser. Before I go ahead and export this, I want to change a couple of things, and we do that in our Drawings Properties tab. I'll come over here to my Views tab, and we'll go ahead and change the color of the vis visible edges to red. It should be RGB red, 255 red, 0 green, 0 blue, and press OK. Then we can come down here and right click on the drawing, and click Export. In this case, we are going to export as a DXF. And the rest of these defaults you can leave as the default values. You can change your name if you want. We will do test part. Click export. Up here you'll see that we'll receive a notification. Now that part has been exported to our downloads folder. Now if you have the direct import software package, go ahead and go into your Universal Laser System Control Panel, come to the Open button, come to Import, navigate to where your drawings are, in this case it's in my Downloads folder, Drawing 1, click Open. We have a couple of options from this dialog box. The first is to set our units. Next we're going to choose whether we want to sort the vectors. Nearest neighbor is going to attempt to run the vectors that are close to each other. In succession, inner outer is going to try to run inner vectors before it goes and moves to the outer vectors. Or you can click none, which I typically do. I don't have too many issues. You can center your image here. You don't have to. You can move it if you do. Uh, we can always move it afterwards, so that is not a big deal if you want to center it or not. We click edit down here in the middle, and this is going to open our materials database. At this point we select our platform, in this case it's a VLS 350-60DT, so that's already selected for me. I'm going to use continuous cast acrylic. My material is 1 8 of an inch, so everything is already set for me. You do have full manual control as well. Uh, you can come over here and change any of these options if you'd like. And then click OK. It's going to do some processing, and then we click OK again. We see it added that to the list here. Once that's added to the list, I can click Select, and we have our piece into our laser. The other option is to import a PDF. It's very similar. The only difference is you have a couple of different options here. Again, you can have it sort the vectors. Uh, there is no inner, outer, nearest neighbor sorting here. It does it automatically. Uh, and then you can click if you want to try to have the software recognize all the strokes in the document as vectors. Uh, you may need to toggle this option if you uh, are importing your file and it doesn't look quite right. Okay, so we click OK there. Again, it's going to convert. We hit select again and we see, again, same import. Untitled 1 is the PDF. Drawing 1 is my DXF. If you don't have the direct import package, we can really use any of the other methods to get our part, our drawing, over to the UCP. In this case, I'm going to use CorelDRAW. Uh, I'll link 
down below to a couple of the other videos where we show using Microsoft PowerPoint uh, or using Inkscape uh, or Adobe Illustrator to print over to the UCP. But in this case, I'm going to use CorelDRAW. Over in Corel, I have my 24 by 12 workspace already opened up. So I'll go ahead and go to File, Import. Again, navigate to where my part is. All of this stuff is fine. You can click anywhere and it'll import in here. Now it's imported automatically uh, as a hairline in Corel Draw, as you can see up here. If, if it's not imported as a hairline, go ahead and change it to hairline. Double check that it is RGB 255. We can see that down below. And then you can click File, Print, select your printer, Settings. This opens up our materials database. You will navigate to the material you're using. In this case, I'm just going to do, let's say, we'll continuous cast acrylic. We'll do an eighth of an inch. We'll click Apply. OK. Back at this screen, we can click Print. And then we verify here that our part comes over correctly. At this point, I'll go ahead and go through the process of making sure that my laser is focused and, and all of the requisite preparation steps I need to do to cut this out of acrylic. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.